A lot of people have wondered what I've been doing with myself when Sal's working. Sal's been working six days a week, eight hours a day, sometimes a little more. And so that's left me a lot of time on my own to have to just figure out what I'm going to do with myself. So it was pretty hard for me at first when Sal first started working. You know, we're used to being together 24 hours a day. And we're one of those couples that likes to be together for 24 hours a day. And so um, it was an adjustment for me to have him out working a lot. And then he would come home and we'd have dinner and then he'd, you know, take a nap. And then it would be time for bed almost. And then it would start all over again. And in the beginning, I felt like I wasn't seeing him at all. And it was really hard for me. I did eventually get used to it. You know, we made, we made a joke in our video right before we came here. We made a joke about me getting used to it, but we were just joking around. But I did, I did get used to it, but I'm looking forward to, you know, hopefully at some point being able to spend a lot of time together again. So I thought I'd uh, take you along with me on some of, with some of the things that I do and just show you some of the things that I do. So I guess we'll say see you later to the cats. Seymour's sleeping over here. See you later, Seymour. Alexander's sleeping over here. See you later, Allie. And Henry's sleeping over here. See you later, Henry. So I'm heading out and Sal's at work. So I just wanted to tell everybody one thing that we do when we leave is we shut the water off. Because I've read that a lot of people, when they leave their RVs, there have been some people that have had like flooding. And so we turn that off so that we don't have to be concerned about that. We have this splitter thing, so all I have to do is go like that and the water's off. Today I'm going to go out. I want to go pick up an Amazon order. They have Rite Aid not too far away from us in another town. And I ordered some things that have a lot to do with what I do when Sal's at work. <laughs> and so I'm going to go get those. And I'm going to stop at my new favorite store. Okay, let's go. Here I am at Rite Aid to pick up my Amazon order. And I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. I got my packages. That's exciting. Next up is my favorite store. But first, I need to have a little lunch. I had to rush out today because it's supposed to storm later. And you can see the sky is pretty gray. We're supposed to have some bad weather, maybe even thunderstorms. So I wanted to hurry up and get out here and get back before all that happens. So I didn't have time to eat lunch. So I'm going to get some lunch at Mighty Taco. I got my Mighty Taco here. And I just want to wash my hands before I eat. To keep a pack of wipes, <laughs> big pack. Oh of wipes in the truck so that way we can wash our hands and stuff when we need to. Uh, Mighty Taco is a fast food Mexican chain taco place in the western New York area. There are many of them and they've been around for years. They actually used to be better. I used to eat there all the time when I was a vegetarian. I used to eat bean burritos and then when I stopped eating wheat I was eating the hard shell corn shell tacos and so I've just eaten there a lot. It's fast. It used to be cheap. Uh, now it's not as cheap anymore. And it, you know, it used to, I don't know, it just doesn't taste the same as it used to. It's still good. So, but I got one burrito. Mighty, super mighty burrito. It has ground beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, 
and hot sauce and then I got sour cream extra I only got one one will be enough I probably could have eaten a little bit more but it was over four dollars for it for that so here's my burrito for four dollars so as I was saying they used to be so good but I don't know what changed I think their beef changed and it doesn't taste the same their bean burritos might be the same and I would love to eat bean burritos but it wouldn't be enough protein for me I need to make sure that I get my protein because I've had problems if I didn't get enough protein like getting sick and not be sleeping and I've had a lot of issues if I didn't get enough protein so I have to make sure so I probably have to have 10 bean burritos to get enough protein finished my burrito and it was okay it wasn't bad and now it's time to go to my favorite store so why don't you come along with me we'll go inside So my new favorite store, you can see it behind me, is TJ Maxx. And they also have a Dollar Tree in this plaza. And sometimes I go to Dollar Tree and get a little washi tape or pick up notebooks or something. Which also has to do with what I do when sales at work. <laughs> what I really like at TJ Maxx is their food section because they have a lot of um, sweets like cookies and things like that and candy that don't have corn syrup in them high fructose corn syrup which I avoid but I will eat sugar because sugar is okay so I like that and then they have chips sometimes they have chips made with coconut oil or palm oil I avoid omega oils as much as possible so I do like to have chips now and then so it's nice because sometimes I can find chips or some kind of snacks with coconut oil so that's why i like it here so much i'll tell you what why don't we go back to the rv and i'll show you what i bought it looks like it's just starting to rain better get back I made it back to camp. Sal's here already. There's a scuff cart. Let's take these bags in and show Sal what we bought. And you too. <laughs> okay, I've got the bags here. Sal's home. So let's go show him what we bought. We have Seymour over here with us. He wants to get into this stuff. There's a there's actually a dog at the park and I fed the dog some treats so because I got permission and so I bought some treats for the dog and I fed her some treats and so Seymour's smelling them. Henry's in here now. <laughs> he's trying to get into the treats. Oh he's like oh don't pick me up. You don't have to pick me up. Henry doesn't like to be picked up. Maybe once in a while he'll tolerate it but mostly it's like this him pulling away right Henry what's the matter Henry it's okay <laughs> he just wants to he wants to sniff out the treats so you coming in sure Sal's right here he's coming in he's home from work so we're gonna go through this stuff together did you buy me anything maybe did you buy me any comic books or anything like that yeah comic books so uh, another thing about these, a lot of these treats is they're Italian. They're Italian treats at the, uh, are you like those key lime key cookies? Key lime cookies. Are those for me? One is. Oh, okay, I can't wait to trace, taste, taste those. <laughs> I found these key lime cookies and they looked interesting. They were 2 dollars 
So I got those. So here's yours. Okay. Okay, I got the dog treats. I bought these truffles. I bought these last time. They were so good. Um, I bought milk chocolate truffles last time. These are dark chocolate. They're expensive, but they're so, so good. They're $4.99. So, and you get a little bag like this. Oh. <laughs> Here, Sal, here's one for you, okay? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, what else did I buy here? I bought two packs of dog treats. I bought these apricots because they're organic sun dried apricots. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to have one. He's got to have one. Sal couldn't wait, he had to have a truffle. <laughs> Are they good? Mm -hmm. As good as the other ones? Mm. <laughs> oh, and these cookies. Oh, the lemon cookies. <laughs> oh, I got these cookies gosh. the last time I went, and we opened it, and I only bought two packs, and they were so good. They're like the best cookies. They're Italian, product of Italy, and they're so, so good. They're these little wafers, and they're lemon, and they're so good. So I got two of those. I got a pack of dates. I've been buying dates there. They're four ninety nine a pound, which is not bad, and they're pretty healthy. I got a cappuccino flavored cookie. These Italian cookies and cappuccino flavor. These are lemon. Did I get the cappuccino ones too? What? Did I get the cappuccino ones? You want a cappuccino one? Let's see. Here you can have a hazelnut one. Yes, I want that. Sure. I got a hazelnut one. These mixed root chips. They're cooked with palm oil. And they're cassava, orange sweet potato, purple sweet potato, and taro, whatever taro is. So I got these because they're a nice extra little treat. Oh yeah, I got you a cappuccino one. Oh, okay. You want you want these back? Oh. I have to taste the cappuccino. And then I found these a little... Sorry, go on. And then I got these uh, uh, Oliva, Oliva, Oliva. These are Italian candies. And I found them the first time I went to uh, TJ Maxx about, well, I don't know, two months ago when we first got here. Sorry. He can't keep his hand out of the cookie bag. I just have one more. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> so uh, I found these when I went to TJ Maxx the first time right after we got here. And they're so good. I bought like two or three of them because I was buying stuff for his little lunches and I brought them home and I tried it and it was so good that I went and bought a bunch more so <laughs> he really likes those cookies okay that's the last one <laughs> for now so I got these these are tiramisu flavor these are caramel those were really good I was putting these in Sal's lunch. This is something <laughs> that we've been wanting for months because our other one broke and we haven't gotten around to going out the, to, to go buy a new one at the store. We actually did buy a new one at Walmart and it didn't fit. And then they only have it at Cabela's and Cabela's is quite very far away from us. So I finally ordered them on Amazon and now we finally got them. And here's what they are. Luggable Lucy. <laughs> now I ordered two so we have a backup because it's already broken. Uh, the first one broke that we had and Sal bought one last year. He showed it on one of our videos. And so now we got two more. And Seymour's in the box because he's silly. This is going to really show what I do when... Keep going. Keep Here going. he goes again. So, this is what I mainly do while sales at work. Let me get some scissors and we'll open this up. Mm. Oh, 
I'll start with this. This is an Inspire Journaling Bible. And I'm so excited about it. Can I see how heavy it is? Wow, that's heavy. Wow. It's cool though. Yeah. It's a journaling Bible. And so here's the actual Bible. Look at that pretty binding. And the cool thing about it is that, let me show you here. Well, you can color in it. You color all this stuff. But then when you go to read it and everything, it's a journaling Bible. So it has lines over here that you can write stuff. Okay. You can write like, whatever notes you want to take you could take them right here and then it also has pictures on some i think there's like 400 pictures that you can color like this what is that an nlt it's nlt nlt version they have different versions but i've been reading nlt and so i wanted this one and it was 28 dollars. it wasn't cheap but i really wanted this and to go along with it, these are Prismacolor pencils. They're supposedly top of the line co coloring pencils. These are the Scholar ones, so they're a lot cheaper. They're still Prismacolor, but I think they're a little bit lower quality, but I guess they're still good. So I only bought 48 because I don't want a lot of clutter. I don't want a lot of stuff. I figure 48 is plenty of colors to be able to play around with. I am so excited about this Bible because a lot of what I've been doing has had to do with Bible reading, scripture writing, and I'll have to show you more of that. But I'm excited to start this. I'm starting to do a chronological Bible plan, and I'm going to start that in here, and I'm going to journal, and I'm going to write and color as I study the Bible. I think that's pretty cool. Did, are there <laughs> any more cookies? 